In this video, I am going to show you how to create a home page in Hypernotes so that you can keep track of all your, your stuff. As you add more pages to your Hypernotes account, you're going to want to make it fairly easy for you to find the pages you want to find when you want to find them. Now you can always run a search for a specific page if you go to the magnifying glass over here and click on that and then you can start running a search. In this case, I'll look for R1, uh, and that comes up to the top. That's reading number one by Wise and Bloom. And this will probably often be how you access pages that you've already created in your account. However, you might find it helpful to create a home page. And I'm gonna go ahead and create it on this new page here. This was the first page that was in the account. It is conveniently placed at the very beginning here. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to call this home. I'm going to hit return. And there are basically three things at this point that I'm going to want to keep track of. The assigned readings, the authors of those assigned readings, and the question pages. So I'm going to create three headings here. And in order to create a heading, you need to use the hashtag mark. And I'm going to create what's called a level one heading. So I'm going to do a single hashtag. Then I'm going to press the space bar. And I'm going to start typing assigned readings. Now it's not until you actually hit return and go to the next line that you'll see that that gets turned into a large heading. If you want a smaller heading, because you don't like the size of those larger headings, you can do two hashtag marks and so on. You can do three hashtag marks, probably four or five, uh, and it will get smaller each time. So after you have typed assigned readings, hit return so that you're on the next line, then hit the tab key. And we're gonna put the two assigned readings here that we have looked at so far. So I'm gonna do the double square brackets and select the first reading by Wise and Bloom. And then I'm gonna hit return and I'm going to do the double square brackets and look for the second reading, which is that one. Now I'm going to hit return here, and I'm going to outdent. Remember, in order to outdent, you hit the shift and tab key at the same time. And I am going to create a heading for authors. Again, I'm going to indent here, and the two authors whose names I've already included are Tim Wise and uh, Paul Taylor. So in both cases I'm doing the double square brackets, Paul Taylor. And Paul Taylor, probably want him before Tim Wise, so I'm just going to grab that bullet and move it above so that they are in alphabetical order. And then with my cursor I'm going to click down here and fortunately that means I don't have to uh, outdent. The last thing I'm going to put here is uh, question pages. I'm going to indent, do the double square brackets, Q for the question page. So there's the first question page we have, double square brackets, Q, and we have the what is racism page. And I've decided that I don't like having a big title up here. It's too much like the size of the title of the page, so Let's change that heading. And I see I have misspelled pages down here, so I'll add an E. And there we have a home page in the making. Just You just want to make sure that you keep on adding to it so that you have one place you can come to uh, to quickly find all material relevant to the course that you are keeping track of.